preparing the trial balance, the income statement, and balance sheet, module four of our bookkeeping basics course. I am Kathy Grosskirk, and I am your facilitator for this module and for this course. You have made it halfway through the bookkeeping basics course. Congratulations for making it this far. During this lesson, we will put together a simple income statement and balance sheet to include data recorded for the last two months our business has been in existence. Since December 31st is also the last day of our current fiscal year, these statements will also double as our official year-to-date reports. The first step is to create a trial balance from our T accounts, which were footed or totaled in our previous lesson. On the next slide are the T accounts from our previous lesson, which we will use in this lesson. Here below are the T accounts with the footings from our previous lesson, which we will use in this lesson. The same diagram is also included on the first page of your handout. Please refer to it frequently as you will need it throughout this module. In a manual bookkeeping system, there are four steps to prepare your financial reports. We list those here. The first step is the most crucial, preparing the trial balance. If the trial balance does not balance, we must go back and find and correct any errors because everything else you do from that point on hinges on your trial balance being correct. Step two is preparing the income statement to determine your net income or net loss. Step three is preparing a statement of owner's equity. This statement determines the increase or decrease in owner's capital as necessary. And the fourth and final step is preparing the balance sheet using the new owner's equity figure computed in step three. On the next slide, we start our discussion of step one, preparing the trial balance. Now we're ready for step one, preparing the trial balance. In a manual double entry bookkeeping system, a trial balance is an important step in preparing the income statement and the balance sheet. The trial balance helps us make sure all debits equal all credits, thus ensuring our accounting equation remains in balance. If anything is out of balance at this point, we will need to make the necessary corrections before we move on to the next steps in creating our financial reports. On page two in your handout, is an incomplete trial balance for bookkeeping clean and simple as of December 31st, 20XX. Be sure to refer to the diagram on page one in your handout to complete the trial balance before you move on to the next slide and check your work. Here below is your trial balance for bookkeeping clean and simple. Hopefully your trial balance resembles this one. All the figures were pulled from our T-Accounts diagram on the first page of your handout. Once you plug in the numbers where they need to go, you add up all the debits, and then you add up all the credits. If you do this correctly, your debits should total $26,800. Your credits should total $26,800. It's imperative before you move on that everything looks as it does here and is in balance. And now we move on to step two, preparing the income statement. The income statement addresses the equation revenues minus expenses equals net income or net loss. There are only two income statement accounts on our trial balance, so it will be a short document. In reality, there can be several revenue accounts as well as several expense accounts. For our diagram here, you see that we have service income of $6,500 for our revenue. For expenses, we have rent expense of $1,000. We subtract our total expenses from our revenues to arrive at our net income figure of $5,500. It is important to remember that a net loss will be displayed either in red or in parentheses on your document. Also remember that a net income increases our owner's equity account at the end of the fiscal year, whereas a net loss decreases our owner's equity account at the end of the fiscal year. Fortunately, we earned more than we spent, so our owner's equity account will increase by $5,500 
as indicated on our slide. Now we are ready to tackle our next step, preparing the statement of owner's equity. And now we're ready for step three, prepare a statement of owner's equity. The statement of owner's equity computes the new owner's equity balance, which appears on the year end 20XX balance sheet and will serve as our opening balance for the 20X1 accounting cycle. Since our business started in November, we use the November 1st date for our beginning capital balance. Otherwise, the start date is the first day of the fiscal year cycle, which is January 1st for our calendar year fiscal cycle. We pull our net income figure from our income statement and pull the remaining figures from our trial balance. In your handout, you have an incomplete statement of owner's equity form. Please be sure to fill that out and make sure it matches what's on the slide and that you understand what you're doing before you move on to the next step. And now we're ready for step four, which is the final step in this process, preparing the balance sheet. With our new capital account balance computed, we can complete our balance sheet for year end 20XX. Remember, we pull the information from our trial balance completed earlier except that we now use the new owner's equity balance from our statement of owner's equity. In your handout is a blank form where you can complete the balance sheet yourself. Please take the time to do this, compare it to what's here on the slide, and make sure you understand what you're doing before we move on to the next module. Congratulations for completing module four, preparing the financial statements. You are now two thirds of the way through the bookkeeping basics course. The last two modules pertain to recording transactions in the general journal and relating those entries to entries in QuickBooks. Again, congratulations for making it this far in the course.